Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. NAACP president demands racist cop is fired for targeting him. Then chief released shocking body cam vid. And here we go again with the race baiting and lies. This time it was the president of a South Carolina NAACP branch who made the claim that he was pulled over by and here we go again with the race baiting and lies. This time it was the president of the South Carolina NAACP who made the claim that he was pulled over by police because he was a black man who was driving around in a nice area in his Mercedes. But unfortunately for the Reverend Jared Moultrie the police officer's body cam footage shows an entirely different narrative. Moultrie posted this on Facebook. But sometime later when the Timmonsville Police Department got wind of this Man of God's Facebook post they released the body cam footage of the incident. Below is a transcript of the interaction as posted by Reverend Moultrie. Me, hello sir how can I help you? Officer, I am stopping you cause you fail to put on a turn signal and do you have any drugs in the car? Me, sir how would you know if I used my tom signal when you was approaching me as I turn and is there any drugs in your car? Officer, license and registration. Me sir can I take off my seatbelt and get it? Officer, sure. Me, as I opened glove box I said sir this is a new car I just purchased and all. Have his bill of sale, insurance card and registration from car I am transferring tags. Officer, okay where you work and who car is this and why you in this neighborhood? Me, sir I am a pastor and I live in the house on the left. Officer and I guess I am the Bill Gates. Me, sir what's the problem? Officer. I ask who car for the last time and why you in this neighborhood. Me, I told you for last time who car and where I live. As my neighborhood starts to come out their house, by the way sir can I speak to your supervisor? Officer, walks away with my information when he returned he said did you know your tags comes back to another vehicle? Me, sir I just explained this to you. Officer, you need to park this vehicle and never drive it till you get this straight with DMV. Me. Sir I have purchased multiple vehicles and never heard this now officer and I start fussing cause I said well I will be driving my car sir and any time I want. Officer, I am warning you to not drive this car till tags get straight and just know I am doing you a favor tonight not taking you to jail or writing you a ticket. Me, sir you might be doing yourself a favor but you certainly not doing me a favor. In addition, he claimed the officer asked him if there were any drugs inside his car. According to WPDE after reading the post, Local community activist Timothy Waters went down to the police department to ask to look at the body cam and dash camera footage and he was shocked to see that everything the reverend said was, in fact, a lie. Once I got a copy of that body cam, it's as if he made the whole story up. And I felt like he set us back 100 years because think about all of the racial profiling cases, that, are true, Waters told WPDE. It was later reported that Timmonsville Police Chief Billy Brown said that Moultrie even went as far as to contact him the next morning to claim that he had been racially profiled and mistreated by one of his officers. He made a comment that the officer accused him of having drugs in the car. He said that his wife and grandchild was in the car. He asked them not to move because the officer looked as if he might shoot them or something. He also made mention that the officer continued to ask him about his neighborhood. Why was he in that neighborhood? and threatened Ed to put him in jail in reference to something dealing with a registration to the vehicle, Chief Brown told WPDE. Except all of those accusations were lies. When I saw the video, I was shocked that someone who is supposed to be a community leader, a pastor, and head of the NAACP would just come out and tell a blatant lie. It bothered me. It really bothered me, thinking about the racial unrest it could have caused in the community and it's just troubling to me that someone who held a position like that would come out and just tell a lie. After all this came to light Moultrie refused to comment to the media and hasn't posted anything additional on his Facebook account. He instead referred WPDE to Timmonsville and AACP officers Kenneth McAllister and Henry James Dixon. When asked about the lies Moultrie told about this incident both men told the station that they didn't need to see the video because they support the reverend and know that he's a man of integrity who wouldn't lie. Let's hope this so-called reverend has some type of repercussions for his actions. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.